name is Justin Rath. I'm originally from Iowa here in the States. Uh, and my trusty companion is Piper. Uh, she also uh, was from back home there in Iowa, found her at a shelter and uh, rescued her there. Uh, we've since moved to Arizona and now we're in the Phoenix, Arizona area. What motorcycle do you both ride together and why? I've got a KTM 1090 Adventure, uh, and I just love the feel of it and the ability off-road and can still load it down with our things, like our lovely uh, Pillion Pooch carrier on the back. It works out perfect. Can you tell me about introducing Piper to riding? Uh, yeah, so luckily I'd gotten my Pillion Pooch before a long trip, so I was able to kind of get her acclimated to the carrier itself because I had it packed in the back seat of my truck for our drive. Um, so she was acclimated with that. She had been around the bike while it was running and such. So on a trip, I was able to put it all together and took her down some roads nice and easy, and uh, she took to it pretty easily. Uh, before that, I had kind of practiced with her getting in and out and clipping her in it when it was running in the garage and stuff, and she took to it quite easily. Okay, so no, no problems at all. It was pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, definitely. She never had a problem where she was trying to run from it or jump out of the carrier ever. So, And did you ex did you kind of expect that from her or were you a little worried about whether she'd, she'd be comfortable? Um, I was a little bit worried. I didn't think she would ever try and jump out, but I know sometimes she does get a little bit nervous. But uh, after the first short time in the, in the carrier while I was running down the road, she was totally fine and laying down back there taking a snooze like she is now so <laughs> where do you and piper mostly ride together sort of short rides or long rides uh so back when i was still in iowa it was uh, kind of a mix i would take it anywhere from short rides to the dog park or to friends houses to let her play with dogs or that sort of thing um, and some longer rides, but now here in Arizona, it's a lot more longer rides. We've done some uh, longer trips up into the surrounding states and been gone for a week at a time on it. And Yeah, so it's kind of a mixed bag, but mostly longer trips now. Okay. And is there anywhere that you two want to go riding together you haven't been yet? Yes. Uh, we definitely want to get over to California on the coast and see the Pacific Coast Highway and the sequoia trees and get all over where we can that direction once COVID has passed. When you're out together, how do people respond to you? Uh, most everybody's is pretty curious what the carrier is. Uh, and they don't realize always that there's a dog in there until I'll call her name or she'll notice something and stand up and look out. Uh, but everybody's always excited to see it and taking pictures and um uh, yeah, a lot of questions, and I'm always happy to explain everything about it and how safe it is. Um, so far, nobody's ever been too worried or, you know, concerned, but especially after I show them the durability and the safety designed into it. So, Do you have any accessories for Piper when she's riding? Um, I have not put anything else in there other than stickers on the side to promote our page, but otherwise no, no toys or anything or, or lights or anything. She's pretty content, I feel, and... Just more to worry about if something were to fall over or fly out of it while she's back there. So, Yeah, yeah. And do you want to tell us what your page is for anyone who might want to follow? Uh, yeah, uh, rather creative, I thought. The Bald and the Brindle on Instagram <laughs> and Facebook. And surprisingly, one time at the Grand Canyon, somebody had to ask if I had a second dog that passed away. I oh. thought he picked up on what the bald was and the brindle I was had on the end of the leash, but he did not. So I thought it was a little more obvious. Not everybody's catching on, I guess. I thought it was clever when I saw it. <laughs> right. Kind of a play on the old, uh, bold and the beautiful here. Yeah, in the yeah. very clever. <laughs> um, what would you tell someone who is interested in riding with their dog? Um, I would have always told people, especially now that I have the carrier and when people see it, um, that the safety is the biggest thing with this carrier too, especially because so many people try and modify, you know, luggage or something like that. But uh, if it's done safely and well, I think it's absolutely amazing to be able to bring her with me all the time, camping and riding and seeing all the sights we do see. So 
it's definitely a huge benefit and i think anybody that is considering should definitely look into it more and go for safety at the same time yeah safety is really important one last question could be a difficult question what's the one thing you love most about piper Ooh. Uh, boy that is a good one <laughs> um, loyalty is obviously huge but also her adventurous side when we do hike and i can point to a rock and she jumps up on things and uh will also put up with all my pictures so it's hard to put it all into one so uh, probably her adventurous or adventurous side kind of like what i've got so yeah yeah great well, and well, she if, does not look adventurous currently just laying there so. <laughs> well you need your downtime as well you need your beauty sleep <laughs> Right, some of us more than others. <laughs> um, is there anything else you'd like to share? Um, it's it's always interesting. It's always fun uh, when people do realize it's a dog carrier or see her back there. The pictures, you know, the phones come out and, and the pictures and everything. So uh, I just love sharing about the the product, especially when it's in person and people are seeing it for the first time and things like that. And everybody's got you know a family member or friend or somebody that rides with their dog and they talk about the carrier that they use and, and things like that. And I always steer them towards the pillion pooch just because again, the safety aspect and because it is so engineered into the design of the safety and usability versus luggage and stuff. So yeah, it's always fun talking about it. I, I'm a chatter. So I always love telling the story about it and you guys on your travels. And I tell them to check out your YouTube videos and all the travels and dogs sticking their heads out. And so, yeah. Well, thanks very much, Justin and Piper, um, for having a chat with us today. And yes. good luck with the rest of your adventures. Will do. We've got plenty more on the list, so.